What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going over these new promo super packs, how to make MT off them and whatnot. So, as you guys can see, there is no prime player in these packs. Also, I want to point this out. Um, since there is no prime player, these expire on Friday, which means um it doesn't look like we're gonna get prime so that's one of the things i do want to talk about before we do get in this video smash the like button drop the sub and all that good stuff yes guys please drop the sub selling mt on xbox and twitter so i mean xbox and ps4 on twitter so if you guys do want mt make sure to hit me up on there but yes guys today we're gonna go over some filters and whatnot we're gonna go over the best ways to make mt pretty much every card in the game is in here besides prime so Pretty interesting if you ask me. They have Pink Diamond Giannis. Do they have the other Giannis in here? They have no Flash Point Guard Giannis in here. So that's interesting. I don't see any Flash players in here either really. So looks like no Flash and no Prime. which In which we haven't got any of those sets in a very long time. So something you want to think about I guess. It makes sense. So we got Fan Favorites out of position. Uh, Canton Greats. Fan Favorites. So... It really is just like the newer promos, I guess you could say. So, let's go over some stuff you probably want to snipe. So, what first thing I would say is constantly checking LeBron and Giannis, okay? So, constantly check their price every single day. They are one of the best point guards in the game still, or the other Giannis isn't a point guard. But, I would definitely recommend checking their prices. You can maybe pick one up for cheap, even though they're super rare. You're like never ever going to see them in a pull. But, what do you guys should be doing? Since there is a super pack out, let's check out. So 650 filter is probably one of the good ones you're going to rock right now. You never know. People throw out pink diamonds for very cheap. Um, so definitely try out this one. 650. As you guys can see, you could probably pick up all these and sell them for like a 1000 make some MT. In my opinion, I'm not going to do it. I have enough MT to make all silvers. But 500 filter, you never know when you can get an opal. It's definitely worth a try. Now, one pink diamond I want to focus, since he does have a lot of profit value, is probably power forward Giannis, or out of position to Giannis, probably one of the best players to look at profit-wise. He should be popping up a lot in packs, so let's check out his price. He's probably going to be around 50,000 MT. Uh, let's check it. So he's not even 50,000 MT, so he's still very expensive, not even 57,000 MT. What you guys want to do is pay attention to the pink diamonds, so... That's how you're going to make the most MT. So definitely pay attention to any pink diamond you want and just consistently refresh on that filter. You could go by player. It doesn't matter. I just recommend going for pink diamonds because they're easy. They're going to pop up in packs a lot more than certain opals. So definitely worth the recommendation. Um, so we got Giannis in the packs. We got Manute Bowl. We also have Manute Bowl Sapphire in these packs, which is probably one of the most rare cards in a game. He is in these packs. There's also silvers in these, I mean emeralds in these packs, so they're not the best packs, guys. You probably don't want to pull these a lot, but yeah, guys, if you guys didn't know, Manu Bowl, Sapphire, one of the best cards in this game, guys. Uh, oh, not even best cards in this game. I'm just saying, most one of the most rare cards in this game. So as you can see, he's going for around 70k. I honestly think you guys could possibly snipe him out for even cheaper, maybe even like 30k. People mess up. I think you should stack up on him if you can for like 30,000 MT. You could sell him for 70k on or, uh, later easily, man. I don't know why. This card is super rare. He's been rare the whole year. I don't understand why, but yeah. Definitely try out this card. Definitely try sniping him out. If you do snipe him out, if you stack him up for 30k, you could easily sell him for 70k later on and make a lot of profit. So that's definitely one of the methods I would say. New bowl. Keep an eye on him. You should be able to make a lot of MC. And now, also, a lot of you guys have been asking me, is it worth selling your team now? Definitely not. Do not sell your team now. I mean, definitely sell your team now, besides all Prime players. So sell your team now. Stay away from Prime. Don't even touch Prime. Don't buy Prime. Don't even look at Prime. Stay away from it. I don't know what's going on there. But what I'm telling you is right now, 
I don't think Prime is going to drop Thursday uh, or Friday. So what that means is you should probably sell your cards today if they're going for a very high price. I feel like Super Packs today and they expire Friday means that we're going to get a promo of some sort and we're not going to get Prime. So just letting you guys know, that's probably what's going to happen. Next up, Colonel Lenko, probably a good Opal to snipe. Bosch, probably a good Opal to snipe. Bill Russell, probably a good Opal to snipe. So out of position, Opal, probably going to be pretty good. Showtime is going to be pretty solid. Um, so who else? J.R. Smith's in here. Chris Bosch, who else in the Showtime set that's expensive? I can't think. Rashad Lewis, guys. So, one other filter I'm going to show you in this video. Thunder. I'm probably going to do it in this filter. Thunder Galaxy Opal. What you got to do, you buy out Peyton, you buy out Kemp. Last but not least, you know who's left is Kevin Durant, other Kevin Durant, and Rashad Lewis. So, if you guys want to get Gold Kareem for cheap or get a sick price on KD Prime and out of position 2, all you got to do is get Kemp and Peyton and then simply enable them. It's that easy. That's how you're going to make a lot of MT. It's a very, very good filter. And since they are in packs, you never know when a snipe is going to pop up. So, this will cost you about 200k to snipe, 90k for the Peyton and the Kemp. Throw them in your collection and they're a dynamic duo. And yes, they are a dynamic duo. That is very solid. So definitely try them out. It's definitely a good way to snipe. You're going to make a lot of MT off this. And if you get Rashad Lewis, man, you're an MT millionaire instantly. So that's another method for you guys. Let's see. What else do we got in these packs? So Bowl Bowl, Galaxy Opal, Jimmy Butler Showtime is definitely a good filter as well. Let's check if Shaq is a buyout. Um, Pink Diamond Filter in general is going to be solid. But all right, yeah, Shaq's still expensive. Let's check out Jimmy Butler. So what you guys could do is just buy out all the guys like Butler and all them. Wow, Butler's not a buyout anymore either. So Showtime Collection, man, you should just buy out the Opal Chris Webber. And then you have the whole collection of buying out. So it's pretty solid collection. You just got to buy Webber. Uh, another player I would recommend is probably a Manu Bowl Pink Diamond recommending recommendation and probably Rudy Gay. Pretty solid one. So let's see um, what we just said. Why can't I think of the name? I think it's just because I'm that tired. And also, we're probably going to run a 12 0 stream today. So get ready for that. Uh, what's the player I was just saying? Paul George. Definitely a good one. So probably Paul George. It's Paul George. So we're going to look at Paul George. We're going to look at Giannis. We're going to look at D Rose. So let's look at Paul George. I wonder what Bio 2K pulled. I know he usually does pull some fire. So here we go. Paul George, Pink Diamond. Let's see what he's rocking at. 47K. You should be able to snipe him out for. 25k i'm taking that that's a very good price for paul george looks like i just got a quick snipe for you guys on here so i can probably sell him for 35k within a couple days probably tomorrow man his price should rise instantly i could sell him for 30k and make that quick profit but i think 25k is a pretty good value for uh paul george and also man paul george all those guys man galaxy will filter cheapest value might pop up opals might pop up like crazy so I would recommend putting your price to around 29,000 MT and then consistently refreshing. As we, as you can see, man, we got a Jason Kidd in here for 28K, in which I am going to get because, oh, it's gone already. So, should have got that, man. So, 20, 30K, man, refresh. If you want, you can enable out Larry Hughes and Jason Terry Diamonds for cheap. But, yo, refresh is going to be pretty solid right here. 30K, cheapest Opal. There is a ton of Opals in these packs. I guarantee you, you'll find a ton of them. So put it to 29,950. I don't think you have to refresh the minimum bid and whatnot. So definitely just try this out. I don't think you do have to refresh because as you can see, the searching bar is there, and you should be able to make MT. Um, should there should be a lot of snipes going around, even though no one really pops super packs. Like I will never pop super packs. Pink diamonds also did go up in value, so the pink diamond filter might be solid. You just kind of want to stay away from the next gen ones. And honestly, guys. That's really it for the video, man. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, he's in the locker code. I forgot. No, but yeah, Lillard in the locker code is probably going to be that cheap. So you kind of want to stay away from Lillard and Robinson. They are going to be in the packs. They are going to pop up a lot, but definitely try out this filter. And yeah, guys, that's really all we got for the video. So hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content because yes, guys, we have a lot of content coming. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Snipe these cards out. Make a lot of MT. And yes, guys, that's all we got. We'll have more videos later. Have a good one, guys. Peace.